Alrighty, hello guys, welcome me faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with the supply ship number three. This is the progression that we currently have on our ship. The first one is the hull, and actually we got a lot done in the first episode, I'm not gonna lie. In the second one, we ended up extending it and making it taller, as well as actually making it, I don't know, the back of it uh, a little bit nicer as well. After that, we ended up making a bit of a structure for the diving bell, and after that, we actually built the diving bell. After that one, what did we do? We made the diving bell a little bit better, and um, we actually added some funnels and stuff to the top of the bridge, as well as making the bridge look a hell of a lot nicer. As you guys can see, the difference, pretty good. Anyway, after that, what did we do? We added engines, and we made it a little bit more stable, so this and the first one are the only versions of this ship that do actually float. So, what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to work on the last version of the ship, and I think we're going to try and make it move. Let's do this. Alright, so what are we going to do in order to actually make this move? I'm not entirely sure. We've got the engines working so far, so that's all good. Let's go ahead and do W and S. That is actually going to go ahead and control the clutches on this uh, to actually allow it to work. The other thing that I'm going to say as well is these clutches are going to automatically be on. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves a number really quickly, and we'll shove it onto each of these engines, just to make sure that both of them are on instantly, automatically, and uh, yeah, that'll work. So, let's go ahead and connect them to each of these. We're going to go ahead and make this 0.75, and we're going to do the same on the other side. Clearly, I could have just done it with one, but never mind. 0.75. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and do this to there, and this to here. Apparently, that is more efficient in Stormworks um, than just one, apparently. I don't know. I heard that a long time ago. I'm going to go with it. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, what this means is currently we can actually move this thing along. The only thing it does mean as well, though, is that we do need some rudders. So let's get some of those. All right, so I've gone ahead and built this bit up like this. Uh, I think the rudders can actually go here, essentially. So. Uh, if I can, I'm going to go ahead and do this down. I think I'm just going to do it with these blocks, actually. So let's just do this. And we'll add a rudder straight onto there, if possible. Uh, actually, it's not a rudder. A control surface would be good. Here we go. Control surface medium. That might be too big. Holy, that's actually huge. Those are really big. All right, I might actually go with rudders then. So let's delete one, two, three. There we go. Let's get ourselves an actual rudder. Yep, and we can shove that directly onto there, obviously. So let's do this. There's one, and there is two. Delete three again, shove that on there, and delete three right here, shove that on there. There we go. All right, is that good? Probably, right? I'm assuming this is going to be fine. Right, so from there, we're going to attach this guy onto here. We'll build this forwards, and we are going to have to have it attach back on if possible. So let's go ahead and do this from, like, here, I guess. And there we go. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. So now let's go ahead and connect the controls together and see if we can actually get this thing moving. All right, another thing that I do actually want to mention is for some reason this does actually spawn underneath the water. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Uh, I don't know whether it's where we're spawning it, like this island. But um, yeah, it seems to spawn underwater every time now. And because these are a little bit lower than the rest of the ship was before, they're getting stuck in the ground. It's just so weird. Okay, I'm going to try and spawn it in somewhere else and see if the same thing actually happens. Again, it is spawning underneath the water, but I suppose this dock is a little bit deeper than the other one. So, let's go ahead and see if this thing will actually move and uh, we'll go from there. All right, turn the engines on. All right, they should be starting up. Very soon. They started before. I haven't actually changed anything that... Oh, actually, I have. I've enabled the clutch, haven't I? Ah, that's annoying. All right, I came up with an idea, and essentially what I've done is I've put the clutch that is naturally on automatically on this right here, and I've labeled it generators, because essentially that's what it is. That's what it's for, anyway. So we can run the engines like this. We can then do this to increase the clutch. There you go, and now it's actually running generators. And now we can get it moving. Oh, which does actually seem to stall it out. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Let's try that again, shall we? All right, here we go. So I've changed the gear ratios a little bit. Let's go ahead and do this now. All right, you can hear the engine struggling a little bit more. But not too crazy. Let's go ahead and increase this a little bit. 
And now we are moving. Increase it to 0.73, that's fine. And off we go, we're actually powered under our own steam. Let's see if we can actually turn now. All right, yeah, so this is the thing. When we go to turn, obviously this ship can tip over. That's not really what you want. So we're gonna have to put a microcontroller in place to stop this from happening. Otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna have serious issues constantly. And that's not really what we want. Although it does seem to level itself out again, which is quite nice. All right, the other thing that I need to say as well is obviously we need a way of getting up and down into this bridge. Uh, I do think we should actually have it be like stairs rather than a ladder. However, a ladder makes a lot of sense here because we can fit one there and we can all obviously fit one here. Stairs, we don't really have that much room for stairs, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can do stairs, we'll see. Um, but yeah, this is awesome. Really cool. So let me grab a microcontroller off one of my previous creations that was built by Ack Original. And um, yeah, we'll see if that will actually help us out here. Okay, so this is the microcontroller that I actually need. It has a speed sensor, which actually is down to there on the stabilizer. It has fins right, which is on that side, and fins left, which is obviously on this side. And then it has an active stabilizer control, if we need one. Uh, currently, we don't actually have one. We're not gonna, well, we're gonna try and not use one. And then it has tilt roll right here as well, which goes to a tilt sensor on the back. I believe this has to be as high as it can, so uh, we will be able to do that, actually. I don't know whether it needs to be towards the center of the ship, though, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and grab this controller and go from there. All right, so I've gone ahead and shoved it on this wall. Let's go ahead and merge that together. We'll get ourselves a speed sensor, which is actually going to go in here, too. Which, you know, maybe does or doesn't make sense. There we go, shove that on there. And connect it together. So, fins right are actually going to be connected down to these guys down here. There we go. Fins left is obviously going to go to the other side. So, let's go ahead and grab that and connect those down to here. There we go, awesome. And then, I guess we need a tilt sensor. I, I don't even know if this still works, but we'll see. So, tilt sensor. Let's go ahead and shove that as high as we can up here. And just shove it on there like this, if we can. There we go. I do want it to be central. So let's actually get rid of this one. And I guess I can just move both of these over. That's fine. Here we go. Cut. Move it over to the side. Just a little bit. There we go. And uh, merge it back in. That's fine. So this then goes straight down to here. And that's it. I think that's pretty much everything this needs uh, in order to actually work. So we will see. I guess. All right, so we're moving already, and I believe they might be trying to tip us over, which means that they are the wrong way around, which is fine, you know? Uh, but clearly, we've got issues there, because they are trying to tip us. So, how do you go about fixing that? Well, I think these fins might be upside down. Yeah, okay, so these are actually the wrong way around. So let's go ahead and grab this, go ahead and cut it, and flip it over, turn it around, put it back on. Excellent. Uh, and we're going to have to do this for all of them, unfortunately. All right, so off we go again. And this time, are we going to stay stable? Let's try and turn and see what happens this time. So I think we are actually staying a lot more stable than we were. There was water on the deck last time, and this time there isn't. So I think we are actually sort of good. Yeah, we're actually stable in the water. Obviously, this is uh, a very calm day on the ocean. But um, yeah, I don't think that's too bad. That's not too bad at all. We're very stable. We're moving along, and that's fine. The other thing that we do need to do, actually, is go down. Whoa! <laughs> uh, we do actually need to make sure that this is lifted um, when we're doing this, because otherwise we're going to have some serious issues. It doesn't seem to want to be lifted in. Oh, here we go. There we go. So I think that will make us even more stable once that's actually, you know, put in its place. I also think we should add some brakes to this, and it also needs to be remote controlled as well, so you can control it from the inside. Yeah, I feel like that makes sense. Also, it is full of water right now, but it is pumping out relatively quickly. Nice. Although, actually, that was just falling out the bottom, wasn't it? Right, okay, so, um, I was thinking about what we actually need to add to the back of this. I think it'd be kind of cool to actually add a bit of a ramp back there, open up the back doors a little bit, and... Uh, maybe add some sort of, like, crane thing that can slide up and down the ship. I think that would be really awesome. I don't know how it would go, but I do think it'd be kind of cool. So, I think we'll end up doing that at some point. 
probably soon, but I'm not sure. Also, I do think we need to come up with, I don't know, a way of making this look a little bit less bland. Everything looks very boring, being all the same color. So we need to sort that out very soon as well. Don't know how I'm going to do that, but we need to do something. But yeah, overall, what do you guys think? Do you like the way that this is working? Do you not like the way this is working? Let me know, because it's kind of interesting to know what you guys think. Um, but yeah, also, I am going to go back up to the top, and I think we'll do a tiny bit of a sea trial right now. Let's go ahead and put this thing against half full waves, if that makes sense. All right, so we're on 50% wind. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. I'm assuming it's going to be completely fine, but you never really know, do you? The front of the ship seems to be going down quite a bit there. But it leveled itself out quite nicely. Yes. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I did turn ocean foam off as well, just to let everybody know. I just think it looks kind of cool when it doesn't have it. But maybe we should add it back on. Who knows? Anyway, it looks like the ship is pulling some sort of wheelie. But it does seem relatively stable. Let's go ahead and try and turn ourselves 180 and see what happens then. I'm assuming it's going to be fine, but the wind could obviously push us over if we are not careful. Also, bow thrusters might be a good idea. And a bulbous bow also seems to make sense too. Oh, here we go. It looks like it's doing some weird stuff, but it does still, still seem stable, which is nice. Here we go. Keep turning us around. And there we go. Yeah, actually, working really, really, really well. That's awesome. Yeah. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm going to end this video here. We got this thing moving. It is now stable, and it totally works. So, there you go. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.